All right, guys, welcome back to another session of Ebony with Genga, server 68. So uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I was live streaming for the All-Stars, and I'll tell you, that was exhausting. It was from 1 a.m. till 3 a.m., my time three times for that week. That is not fun. I wish that they would uh, change that in the future and maybe have a time zone dependent brackets so maybe only in the finals does everybody have to meet up at that uh, time slot that isn't very favorable for the north americans maybe have uh, eastern western hemisphere semifinals, something like that so that everybody could play maybe at their you know i don't know 10 p.m time or something like that but i understand for the finals you'd have to have a time where it's not ideal for somebody but during the work week it doesn't work but uh Anyways, that's my little rant there on the Battlefield All-Stars, but it was still uh, something to see, you know, learn a lot watching it. And uh, one of the things that we get to see was sort of a little bit of a preview for this new announcement. So the Battle of Shallans preview. So in here, you could read all about the history of the Battle of Shallans. That's not what we're here for. But what we are here for is the new style of Battlefield. So it's going to have some sort of All-Stars to it is how I interpret this and this is probably going to be for Battle of Guagamala because in here it talks about getting points by attacking monsters as well right so here in the new battlefield and we look down at the second point there players can earn scores by killing monsters troops of the opponents and occupying buildings so there's no monsters in BOC, so this has to be a BOG edition. And then it talks about having four alliances, and you get into a little group, a round robin, and you play each other in order to advance, so I like that. But one of the things that I got to see in All Stars, I don't know if any of you uh, watched it or were involved in it, but one of the things that you could see was some of the new additions. So, one edition that there is the main edition is if we go onto this map so this is what the new map is going to look like and you can see where my arrow is pointed and it's right above the castle well right above the castle there is this new building it is a rally capacity increaser so you will gain 15 percent one five percent more to your rallying ability to your rallying capacity ability for your alliance if you occupy this building now it's on an island so not every in all stars there was a lot of players there was 50 players and this island could probably only hold about 30 keeps um so if you're in a full battlefield and it's 20 versus 20 not everybody's going to be able to fit on this island but Let's face it, we all know all most of our battlefields don't have 20 versus 20, or not everybody enters at the same time. So if one alliance enters quicker than the other, well, they can occupy this area and keep it. But again, can you fill a full rally? That's obviously going to be important and a factor whether you go for this building. Now, another uh, important thing that's going on is if you could see these two red dots I have and there's two more on the outsides of this map so there's also going to be some carriages which if you occupy these you will get buffs and I think the buffs are going to be like they were on the Huns invasion where each round you would get to pick something like do I want to pick 10% horse HP or 10 five percent all troops attack something like that we don't know exactly what it is because in the all-stars this was not active the rally hall was active and from what i saw honestly not everybody fought for it in the three rounds that i uh streamed only once did one alliance really go for the rally hall and try to hold it the entire battle everyone else just kind of They'd send for it, and if they held it for three minutes, they held for it. But they kind of treated it like the hospital or another tower, and they, they didn't plan their whole war over this. So 
it's up to you to decide what you're going to do with it. If you're the stronger alliance and you fill your rally halls, if you're one of those uh, premier PvP alliances, then of course, by all means, you're going to be all over that. Now, there's another thing that they had here as well. They talk about a, a healing tent where so right here at the top right here the medical tent refreshes randomly in the battlefield visit the medical tent to immediately heal some troops in the hospital that also was not active in the all-stars so I, I actually have no idea what this is going to be like where it is i guess it's just going to be a trial by fire and we're going to learn a little bit about this as we go on but I would be prepared with your alliance to think about what you're going to do for that rally hall, how important it is to you, and it's going to be 15% added to your rally capacity. And then the buffs, we also don't know exactly what they're like, but it might be worth it to send a couple of your active smaller players to those areas, just like you would to protect the portals will protect the buffs and get an extra 10 or 15 or whatever the percent is that they're going to give you. And then after that, it uh, seems like it has some sort of qualification tournament and uh, all, not necessarily an all-stars, but there's some good rewards. Like if you look right at the bottom here, Battlefield Rewards, you have a chance to win an Alliance castle, which will expand your territory. So on some of the newer servers, this might seem like it's not a big deal. But if you on my server that I'm on now, where alliances are four years old, we probably have about 20% of our members who don't fit in the hive. So they're all on the outside not getting buffs. So this would be a huge benefactor to any alliance that can get gain this. It would also help in recruiting new members, right? If you can host more cities inside your hive so that's it this is the update on battle of shallans let's see what happens uh with this coming up in the next uh in the battle of guagamala and uh i guess i'll do another update during the week and uh basically let's just see uh if i was correct on it and how it worked for everybody and we'll go from there so again this is genghis on server 68 just with a little update on the battle of shallans hopefully i'm pronouncing that correct so like subscribe leave a comment